Kuran and Mello are both character from the series Death Note. They compete against each other to see who will catch Kira first in the series. So who is smarter? Let's find out. First up is spatial and the first category is observations of materials. Mello was able to notice the death note laying underneath one of the mafia members as well as understanding that Kira might have killed his hostage because the logistics of his circumstances. It's hard to say if Nier would get this since he only works within one area typically, but he was able to tell of his conditions when Kira's supporters tried to storm in his base, utilizing L's inheritance as a distraction. Nier has more consistent shows so Nier takes this one with hard difficulty. Next is observations of space. Mello leans towards this and sees more actively in differing spaces and plans revolving around them. Mello gets this with hard difficulty. Last is puzzle solving. Nier gets this one as he is able to connect with the showing of materials to how they work in the space. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Nier won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 22 points and Mello with 4 points. <laughs> Next is intrapersonal and the first category is understanding your own intentions. Both characters understand what they intend to do but Nier has a slightly more consistent mindset as well as being more controlled in his thinking. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Next is understanding what you will do. Mello seems to get this as everything he wanted to do he set out to and was more consistent in doing so. Mello gets this with hard difficulty. Next is understanding your limitations. Both Mello and Nier are fairly close but Nier seems to recognize his limitations enough to realize that he might need Mello's assistance compared to Mello who thinks he can do everything himself. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Next is understanding your knowledge. Nier gets this category as every piece of information him came across he used to his advantage any way he could. He did a lot of overlooking in his final plan but overall he still takes this over Mello. Nier gets this with easy difficulty. Next is adaptability. This one is hard to decide but it seems like it would go to Nier. Nier quickly came up with a plan to escape the Kira's supporters and adjusted his final plan when new information came to light. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Last is emotional control. This really speaks for itself. Nier never gets emotional while Mello loses his cool all the time. Nier gets this with easy difficulty. Nier won more points so he gets the overall points meaning he got 29 points while Mello got 2 points. Next is linguistic and the first category is knowing what you want to be said or what needs to be said. Nier seems to get this as there's never a moment in the show where Nier isn't clear and concise about what he wants to say. He always gets right to the point and nothing he says has ever come back to haunt him. Granted this because of the position he's in, but it still stands as a good showing of what a good leader should be like. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Next is knowing the order of things to be said. Nier gets this one too as he always describes his plan in a coherent order as to be understood well by his other colleagues. There's only one time that comes up that he has ever misunderstood by the order of things he is saying but even after this, Nier realized he needed to clarify and did so immediately. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Last is knowing what words to best describe what you want to say. Nier gets this as well as he always picks words too best describe his intentions even assigning certain phrases to certain points he's making such as referring to the second Kira as X Kira or the original Kira as Al Kira. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Nier won all the categories so he gets the overall points giving him 22 points and Mello 0. Next is bodily kinesthetics. Nier doesn't show any real active movements in the series while Mello is actually shown running around so by default Mello gets all the categories by easy difficulty meaning Mello gets the overall points giving him 21 points and Nier 0. Next is interpersonal and the first category is understanding others' intentions. Nier seems to understand others' intentions better as he quickly realizes the second L is not who he seems to be as his ignorance comes off as somewhat fake. Nier takes this with medium difficulty. Next is understanding what others will do. This one is extremely close. On one hand Mello predicted nearly all the actions the task force and the second L would take against his own and prepared for nearly everything while Nier was able to anticipate L. Kira's plan to kill them at the warehouse and tried creating a plan to counter that. However Nier's plan was doomed to fail while Mello's had already succeeded. Therefore Mello gets this category with hard difficulty. Next is understanding others' limitations. Once again this is fairly close for the same reasons as the last category and for similar reasons Mello takes this one. Mello was able to realize the task force and the second L's limitations and use it against them while Nier still recognizes others' limitations. He doesn't seem to comprehend the full scope of it as much as Mello does. Mello gets this with hard difficulty. 
Last is understanding others' knowledge. Nier takes this one as he uses not only his own knowledge but his other team members' knowledge to help benefit his own as well as understanding what information the task force had that he also needed, even using some of that information against El Kira to get the task force on his side. Nier takes this with medium difficulty. For the first time in the series, we have a tie. Both Nier and Melo accumulated 9 points in total making this a draw. Since neither of them won, the overall points are not added to either of their total points meaning they both stay with 9 points. Next is Existential. Nier displays some philosophy while Melo is really only doing things for himself and his own gain. Nier wins these categories by default with easy difficulty giving him the overall points with 14 points in total and Melo with a zero. Next is Logical and the first category is Gathering of Information. Nier gets this one as he almost always gets the full picture with the information he gets, if it be trading information or creating scenarios to gain more himself. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Next is deductions of information. Nier gets this one as well as he can make deductions in similar ways to L, with limited information. He is able to tell based on very little what might have happened and is able to come to the right conclusion a majority of the time. Nier gets this with medium difficulty. Last is how the information is used. Melo takes this one as he was able to make better use of his information while Nier sat around waiting most of the time and even then his final plan had a lot holes in it where Melo's plans had very little wiggle room. Melo takes this with easy difficulty. Nier won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 27 points and Melo with 8 points. Next is musical and Melo doesn't really show any musical intelligence while Nier is constantly observing with all his senses able to look at several dozen computer monitors at a time while they play several different channels and Nier is still able to focus on the sound and distinguish them from each other. Nier wins each category with easy difficulty giving him the overall points giving him 23 points and Melo with a zero. The last section of intelligence is naturalist and the first category is understanding of elements though not many direct indications of understanding of elements. Nier seems to get this as he was always ahead of Melo in his studies which suggests a better understanding of elements as science would still be a study practice which would cover different elements. Nier takes this with hard difficulty. Next is understanding of how elements work together. Melo seems to take this as he used his surrounding elements to work together in creating his plans if it be to test something or prevent something from happening. Melo takes this with medium difficulty. Last is understanding of animal nature. Nier is shown to be more direct with this using past experiences the task force had to get them to feel untrusting of the second L. He created a natural nervousness in them that caused them to search for answers and thus give him information. Melo is also shown to understand these, think fairly well, knowing that the task force would rather save lives even if it just be one over protecting the death note but Nier seems to etch this out. Nier gets this with hard difficulty. Nier won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 18 points and Melo 6 points. These two fought hard over a lot of the categories but Nier always edged out Melo which is why he got 164 points and Melo only got 50. Despite the huge point difference it was always fairly close over who'd take a lot of these categories. But even so, Nier won so he will be moving on to the next round. What did you think of this video? Do you think the results were accurate or do you think otherwise? Let me know how you feel in the comments.